There's been a lot of talk about the tone of our politics and whether that foments actual violence as former President Trump held a big rally talking in part about this latest assassination attempt. The Trump supporters in Michigan line up to welcome the former president to Flint. This was his first rally since a second assassination attempt on Sunday. You know, only consequential presidents get shot at. But one of the consequences of the attempted attack, a phone call between Trump and his Democratic rival, Vice President Kamala Harris. A little while ago, I got a, nice, a very nice call from Kamala. No, no, it was very nice. I told him what I have said publicly. I, there's no place for political violence in our country. But the friendly phone call was really just a brief respite from the rough and tumble campaign trail. And despite assertions that the two assassination attempts on Trump may be related to overheated rhetoric, there is still the steady drumbeat of political attacks. We had then a lot of work to do to clean up a mess. I don't know how any rich person or any person that's in business can even think of supporting her. It's the craziest thing I've ever heard. And the White House is standing by President Biden's criticism of Trump. President Biden has been clear-eyed about the threat uh, that the former president represents to our democracy. And here on Capitol Hill today, the task force investigating the first assassination attempt on Trump will hear from the Secret Service about the second attempt on Trump's life in Florida. In Washington, Doug Lusader, Fox News.